Hey guys! Are you ready to take a blast back into the 1920s? I am! Even though I don't think I would have been a very good Great Gatsby kind of girl. Don't forget to text CACTUS to 706-916-5788 if you want to receive a notification right before I go live. If you're missing it on Facebook, as you guys know, Facebook's been glitchy. It still won't show my spider video. It was a tutorial. It really makes me mad. I don't know what's going on. So let's do another one of our natural makeup Halloween series. It's going to be the doll makeup. I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like in case you're like, I have a, no idea what you're talking about. I didn't get to vote. I understand. So I'm going to show you. Guys, I just don't know what to do about this dang Facebook. It's driving me up the freaking wall. Say hey. Give me a little hey emoji if you're on or say hey so I can make sure my comments are working. That's how I wasn't able to find out in the first place that Facebook was glitching on the last one. And then drop me a cactus emoji if you share this later, even if you're on the hashtag replay. Don't forget to say that because um, that's going to get you into the giveaway. I'm doing one this weekend, and I may do one more um, before that. Um, let's see. So I don't know where I got this from. I've always had this like in the back of my mind that like flappers with the like big doe eyes, the sad eyebrows, you know, that kind of thing. And I've been talking about how like the pencil thin eyebrows have been coming. They seem like they're popular. I don't know. So let me show you without further ado what my inspiration is. Isn't she cute? Miss Manners. I think that is the lady that's responsible for this look just to give her full credit because I don't always know their names. So let's get started don't forget to prep your face halloween tip number one no matter what makeup that you're doing don't forget to prep your face do your um, skin care make sure you put your moisturizer on and make sure that you set that okay primer will then go next and then you want to set that and i know that sounds all kinds of crazy but i promise you you'll say thank you daphne later when your makeup lasts all day long um uh, we we found some really upsetting news and right now we're just kind of torn but we're supposed to possibly the funeral has been reserved to next saturday not this saturday but next saturday and that's the same day that xavier's having his birthday party and my husband i think has to also work that day i don't know it's a lot going on and it's just been a lot because they have to ship his body and it's putting a lot of stress on the family. I hate when these kind of things happen where people feel like they have to do one thing, but they're worried that something else, like it's a bad decision. Don't ever put yourself in a place where you feel like you're stuck in a very hard position. Do what's best for you. I promise you that if you guys are ever related to me, talk to me, a friend of me, even if I act immature for that current moment because of some weird fluke, I promise you, I want you to do what makes you happy. Okay, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and prep our face. I want to go ahead and get this um, primer on as soon as possible. Let's do our setting spray. If you guys haven't heard about my Black Friday, I'm going to be uh, reminding you guys every day until it comes available. Black Friday is next Tuesday. I'm not even playing. It goes 10 bundles and some of them only for like a day to three days each then it goes to the next bundle all the way until beginning of december so if some of them will be brand new products that have never came out brand new release products sales deals all kinds of things discounts bundles and i'm doing sale, uh, giveaways and games as well so if you want to be on that make sure you say vip or black friday and you can also text the chat the text line here it's not a group chat it's a just a notification when my sales come on so you can go check them out later if you're at work or whatever times be busy families okay let's go ahead and set this primer real quick i'm going to use um just for those who like a list of my products so that you can use them all natural they shouldn't cause any kind of aggravation and if you ever do get the products it has a love it guarantee which means you can either get a refund or get an exchange on it if something ain't working for you my friend okay um that's why i love it and that's why i'll always keep going back to it unless something crazy happens uh let's go ahead and 
I swear I just clean these brushes, but I've been so hardcore on them every day today. I mean, every day this week that they're like, I don't know what to do with you. <laughs> so get yourself some good brushes too. I promise you it will be worth it. Okay, let's go ahead and get set. I started watching episode two. Now I'm on episode three of The Watcher, y'all. It is freaky. I don't know how much of it is the real story and how much of it, like, they crafted and created. Hey, Natalie. Hey, Mr. Johnny. Oh, are you at Johnny's house? <laughs> I'll be there on Friday. Don't worry. This is why I started getting this done at 8 o'clock. I was like, we can't be doing this all at night. I'm going to have to drink my coffee and be ready for food bank in the morning. <laughs> Hey, come help create this with me or keep this and go back. If one of my videos ain't working like the spider video, um, I'm going to go back and do a small tutorial on that one. Uh, easy, like quick step-by-step -step one that I'll pre-record and upload it just for y'all since it was being a butt and Facebook's being a butt. And for some reason, I, I've had so many people send me a message and call me and be like, your spider video is not working. I know. I don't know why Facebook hates me like that. You're eating dinner together. What are y'all having? We just had like that fajita meat. What is it called? Carnitos? I don't remember how you call it. Whatever. <laughs> I'm going to pretend like that's what it was. It's like a steak meat and the Xander's like, oh, this is so good. For once, everybody ate my food. Let's just call that a Christmas miracle. <laughs> All right, let's do the eyebrows. The one that always freaks me out and I always comment about every single time. Um, glue right over them get yourself the purple glue i actually don't think this glue is good anymore because look it's like pale purple what's happening what's happening up in here in case any of you guys are watching me now and this is your first time you're like i knew that girl wasn't right she puts glue on her, <laughs> her eyebrows yes you were right all along i have never been right <laughs> i have never been right all the way right there <laughs> Nope, and I never said I was. So there. Hmm. Now I need me a daggum spoolie. You know, there we go. It's never there when you need it to be. Eric's like, I'm gonna try not to fall asleep on you yesterday. I was so disappointed. I ca I came in with my look. I'm like, look at my look. Look at my look, Eric. He is just dead asleep in our room i'm like dang you must have been tired look at this this is what i call a wannabe soap brow right here you gotta make it where it, f it stays flat like you got electrocuted <laughs> against your head yes yes mom says she was with me the whole time when i was live on that one and then w as soon as like i got off she said it you couldn't go back and watch it but you can see that people had like commented on it and everything i'm like i don't know what happened i said i just edit it like i do on everything like i don't know something must have not been good on my end and now it's trying to be hateful or facebook did something mean and it just don't want to own up to it i don't know i don't know it's a conspiracy i told you i felt <laughs> Y'all have, y'all gonna be like, so what all did you do today? You're so productive with all the things. No, I'm not. <laughs> y'all, I am not even playing. I feel, I felt kind of guilty about it. But after that, I was like, no, my body obviously needed it. But I straight up went to take the kids to school today. Has anybody ever done this? I don't know if you've ever had the leisure to do this, but I don't normally. So that's why I don't feel bad about it. But, um... Have you ever, like, went to do something that you knew you had to get up early for? And then when you got back home, you, if you knew you had time to sleep back in, you just went straight back to sleep. I slept till, like, 11 o'clock. And then I was texting Natalie. She was probably like, God, why is she texting me all these messages at 11 o'clock? Did she get a speed of energy? No, I was just awake for a while. Did y'all hear that train? <sighs> Hold up. Mr. DeVille, I'm ready for my close-up. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit of this um, makeup wipe and kind of clean up the little eye booger things that it looks like. Xavier was making me laugh so hard today in line. He was like, Mama, do you ever get eye boogers? I was like, yeah. He's like, do you ever, as soon as you like take them out you feel wide awake i was like no i can't say i've ever felt wide awake after i take them out 
but I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Maddie is Maddie. Her typical uh, preteen self is like, ew, <laughs> on everything. Ew. All right, I'm putting some um, of that powder right over the top. I was helping her with her costume today, I'm trying to hot glue everything because this girl does not sew. <laughs> and I, would, I, I wouldn't know how even if I tried. So we hot glue everything up in, in this family. Don't judge me. Okay. A little bit more glue right on top of that setting powder. You wanna do this for a couple of layers, at least two or three to make sure that you have sealed those puppies down especially if they're pretty ferocious like mine are and then you take that spoolie and you just brush them up until they're almost like straight flat against your forehead that is going to help to like make sure that they're not going to look all strong and spiky when you're trying to cover them up because our fake eyebrows that we're going to be drawing are like going to be up here way way higher than what they normally are i told y'all i don't have a very big forehead so we gotta make room for these things with these big eyeballs that we're doing all right just one more pack of this i'm going to put some foundation right over the top and try to disguise these babies i swear my youngest is going to end up being a dang snake wrangler or like a reptilian advisor <laughs> I don't know what do you call them um, professional I don't know have y'all ever seen that show on here's a show if you have a family member or a kid that is like in love with reptiles especially snakes it's called snake discovery on um, YouTube they are like really big influencers that have like their own zoo or, or snake expedition I don't know it's not expedition, exhibit. And they're really popular. I never had that fascination with snakes like that. Not really scared of them, but not love them either, okay? And he is just, he knows everything about snake eggs and how long they hatch and what they look like and what they're called now. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were at a funeral. I know this is bad for you, but we're drinking Coke like beer today because I have a headache. <laughs> this is a bad week for, um, do you guys take me serious like this? This is a bad week for funerals and stuff. I don't like that. All right. Stick foundation, the best when it comes to this kind of makeup. I just feel like number one, this scarlet is the color that I'm using. This is called the um, Unique Touch Glorious. And I just feel like it does so well over the eyebrows once you kind of glue them over. This is more than what I would normally use, but we're gonna use our Kabuki brush. We're gonna stipple it. And that's gonna kind of give us just really strong coverage. You can do this with your actual foundation powder too, just as a little makeup side tip for y'all. It will give you like a more full coverage than a medium. Are you really? You are never gonna get to sleep. That's okay, I can't judge you. Doesn't it look weird without eyebrows? I feel like it looks so weird. Y'all, I'm so proud of my daughter though. I was like, I told her, I said, Maddie, you gotta finish up and paint up the last of this part that you gotta do for your contest. I said, it's the 27th, not your contest, your costume. It is the 27th. I said, we're not going, you know, to do trick or treating or any of that on the 31st because we'll be out of town after school. I was like, but, um, you need to, um, you need to get on this. She's like, I'm sorry. And I was like, no, I mean, I'm just telling you, like, you need to have a deadline, like all things in life do. And she's, and I said, otherwise, you know, with the cost and the time that it's taking, it's not worth making your own costume. 
I said, you're, you're talented. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to discourage you from that. I said, but you do need to treat everything and have a deadline to it. If you expect to take yourself seriously and your work seriously. And I really want to instill that on her because I used to think as long as it was for other people, I don't know why this is again, a recovering people pleaser, but as long as it was for other people, it was okay to go by their deadlines and put things first and everything like that. But when it came to myself, I was on the back burner because, you know, other people were more important. It's just myself. No, you need to treat yourself literally like you would treat like a person who's a client. And as you know, if you do that, only one person comes first in that situation. So if something else pops up and you have to say no, then you need to decide if it's important enough to you to say no. If your plans aren't important enough to you, you'll never take yourself serious and never commit to things. And people will not take you serious either. That's something I learned the hard way, family. My chest and neck get so red. So one of the things that I always suggest when you're doing a color match, whether it's for Halloween or just for your regular look, um, decide if you want your foundation to match with your neck or your face because they don't always match up mine is my neck is important because once I put my foundation on if it's darker than my neck it doesn't make sense or lighter than my neck none of that makes sense to me you can at least with your face add like contour and stuff like that to match with your neck I don't feel like you can do the other way around oh yay yes do I need to send him a reminder I definitely need to get that ADT uh, sign I'm just so paranoid. I don't know if anybody else is, but if you're paranoid like me, you definitely need to make sure you have a good, um, here's a little shameless plug for ADT. Get with John Eldridge <laughs> with ADT. He will take care of you. Not only does he care about people generally, but he's a pastor. So it's like in his work to take care of people, <laughs> both secular and non-secular. But, um, if you're paranoid like I am, you need to have ADT because I'll be seeing cars go up and down our drive and I'm like what who is this why are they down here are they trying to scope out the place you know this is like what people with anxiety have and so um having an alarm system to turn on and at night even is so nice and such a relief I'm just saying all right so let's go ahead and actually get started we're going to create about from about let's see I'm gonna make a little marking space here we're gonna start with I think yellows and then go into oranges and browns okay so with that said I'm gonna go into palette number eight that is one of our uh, specials October anniversary only four more days left I'm gonna go in with this color called wondrous maybe a little bit of the upbeat and I'm gonna want to stop this color right kind of like on my cheekbone sort of Okay, so that's the bottom of the circle. It's going to be like a complete circle. I'm just kind of mapping it out right now. And this color, I am not even playing, is going to go all the way up to about right here. So we got a big old eyeshadow range here. <laughs> all right, now that you kind of mapped it out, you can start filling it in with your fluffy crease brush. And you're seeing I'm going to build this on. So it's not going to come on super, super strong. But these are pigmented shadows. So you're still going to see some color pay off here. We're going to treat this whole area like it's an eye socket. I'm not even playing. So you just start to do windshield wiping motions. And you see how I'm building that color up. And now you're starting to see that yellow. It's better to build then to start in heavy because it gets really really patchy and really harsh and it's harder to clean that up without it basically exploding into another area when you're trying to blend it out and it's not going to 100 percent cover all of our eyebrow but it'll be enough once we put like the glitter and the contrast on here to kind of hide it This is like the perfect yellow I don't I don't hardly say that because I don't really wear yellows do you guys like yellow even for like makeup 
you won't hardly see me wear a lot of yellows and a lot of makeup um, with yellow just because it's not my first go-to but I try to push myself and you will be happy to know that I own at least now two mustard color shirts for this fall and it is all because of this business it has pushed me to go beyond my comfort zone more and try new things and I'm telling you it is one of the most freeing things ever no I'm not doing anything rebellious and up and leaving my family or doing nothing crazy but it is nice to sometimes like go outside your comfort zone and say you know what instead of doing the same thing that I always do I'm going to try something different shock myself and everybody else <laughs> And if it's um, a, a yellow mustard shirt instead of just a plain gray one, well, by goodness, that's not really that bad, is it? All right, let's go over the eye. When I add these two colors together, it kind of deepens it a little bit because that upbeat color is a little bit more of a brownish uh, yellow. So it's going to help stand out a little bit more than just a pure bright yellow. And we want to have some of that brown in that yellow because this is going to gradiate from like a basically a yellow to like an orange to like a reddish and a brown and then back to like this color right here which is like that shimmery color if you haven't told your insurance company that you have an alarm yes i did tell them i think actually that's how we got the price that we did get we just switched again. We switched from this place called Foremost to Traveler's Insurance because Foremost was like, ooh, you have a trampoline. How dare you? We can't fund you. I'm like, how many people in the freaking South have trampolines? Come on now. Okay. I don't think this is like 100% even, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. This is what we're going to layer over the top. Now I'm going to go in with this, with some of this orange. It's called Revived. I'm just going to use the same brush. And all I'm going to do is just kind of slightly go within that border. I'm not going to go all the way to the very edge. But I'm kind of just going a little bit inside of that and building up this color. This is sort of like what we do for regular eyeshadows, too. If I had a not glued those eyebrows, they'd be going every which way right now. I almost feel like we're getting close to like a honeybee look, like with the large eyes and the orange and the yellows. <laughs> that makes me a little nervous. Going with the whole clean, going up under the eye again, creating those uh, bright colors to make us look like we're tired. Okay. Orange is not as bad. You don't have to put as many layers on there because it's so bright. Do, 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 circus. Have y'all ever heard that song? I mean, not a song. It's like a little... I'm going to use it for one of my TikToks because it's like deeply disturbing and it's perfect for Halloween. But it's like... Something about a lady uh, microwaving her poodle or dog trying to dry it. And the lady was like, to eat it? She's like, no, 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 no. She must have been out of her head. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. It's so disturbing. <laughs> it's just eerie. I'll have to, like, let y'all listen to the whole thing. But I can't stop saying that. And the kids are like, where did you get that from? Alright, I forgot my eyelid here. So let's fill her in. Yes, it's a girl. Her name's Nancy. Okay, got the orange. Let's start going into like darker colors. We're gonna go into this color right here called Profound, which is more of a, what would you call this? Burgundy maroon color. 
I swear, I didn't even plan this, but this palette is like almost absolutely perfect for this look. If it would have had brush, hey, 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 calm it down. We're not doing karate while we brush our teeth. Um, if this would have had brown in it, this would have almost completed the look. to remember to go inside the eye socket too. What's y'all's favorite Halloween or spooky movie that you like to watch? Do you watch spooky movies? Or is just life scary enough for you? <laughs> Okay, now a little key fact here, when you use a fluffy brush, it is always gonna keep it soft looking. So if you're looking to really deepen up that color, you got to start going in with smaller brushes, more packed together brushes. And we're gonna do that eventually, but I just kinda wanna gradate that color first and build it up. Sometimes you just gotta be patient with it. Also another thing, I notice if you, even if you don't have your shadows with you for a year or more, sometimes they get this little stuff on them. Can you see sort of that like crust? And it's just being exposed to air for too long. Um, but if you just take a little spoolie and scratch that off, it's as good as new and you'll get the right color in there. And you can also sort of, that's how people create new eyeshadows. But It'll just help to kind of build up and give you a little bit more fresher of a color. Alrighty, girl. Have a good day. If you're watching this on the replay, don't forget to give me a little shout out. Let me know so far what has been your favorite look of the week. Vote for me and let me know if you want to do a look contest. It can be in honor for closer to the holidays christmas it doesn't have to be specifically for halloween or it can just be some kind of creative look that you like you know maybe you just like the look of being a butterfly that's okay you do your thing and we're going to have oh i would say at least 10 semi-finalists depending on how many um, entries we get. And maybe do a grand prize for that as well. I like giving away stuff. All right, a little bit more maroon on this side. Uh-uh, he's mad because he gotta go to bed. Why are you crying? I feel like this is coming to be the shape of like Deadpool <laughs> or something like that. So, this girl, let's see, yeah, my video is still coming back as unavailable. Y'all let me know if that ever changes on that spider video. I don't know what happened with it. I don't know what. Okay spread this out just a little bit on the sides just to kind of make sure that we're not doing some weird shape even though this is quite weird okay dark brown is the next thing that we're going to do and then I'm going to kind of carve out an area right around here slightly over the eyebrows okay let's see what kind of browns we got here I'm going to start off with this brown right in here in the palette number nine called Affable. That one's a pretty nice brown. So I'm going to kind of deepen this um, burgundy color up, starting going into a brown. Still using a crease brush, trying to keep my hand on the outer edge so that way I'm not pressing down too hard and it is still giving me like that blown out look. If 
If you guys were to do a Halloween look, what's the longest you'd want it to take? Like for me, I've watched some like professional, professional artists. I mean, when I say professional, I mean like really professional. And they have done looks that literally have lasted them like almost the whole day to create it. Like they're like, oh, this is hour 14. I'm like, mm-mm. Two hours is long enough for me. I almost feel like that's too long. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's almost just too much. You know, I'm like, if I could get it done in 30 minutes to an hour, I'm golden. Okay. This is looking sick, isn't it? I'm loving this. This is fun. Alright, go over the eyebrows just to kind of keep that consistency of the shade and knowing the shape that we're going over and where it's heading to and all of that fun stuff. I'm going to show you a little trick, too, to keep that yellow. Like, if you accidentally go over the yellow or don't feel like it's showing up as much, I'll show you, like, what you need to do. Don't worry. We'll go ahead and do it now. You can go back into any of your older colors, like the yellow, and you can run that over your darker colors. Number one, it softens and blends, and number two, it kind of brings back that color that you started off with, and it kind of keeps it there to kind of mix in with that other color so yeah little tip there little tip of the day this is kind of like what i do with lighter colors i usually start off like my looks with lighter colors and i go back in with those and they can be used to blend i feel like we're like repping like one of those tupperware like 80s kind of like mushroom designs that you would find like on canisters Hey mom, you are my proof that this video is up and running right now, unless something sus happens to it. <laughs> All right, this one's got an even darker brown. Let's go ahead and pull this in. It's called Pleasing. Xavier, you having a rough day? You making your day? Were you making your day rough? What's going on, buddy? Well, you know, going to sleep is going to help make that a little better. Oh, he's the only one in this family that will admit when they're seriously just having a bad day. <laughs> Break my heart just a little bit. I'm sorry you're having a bad day. All right. See how I switched to a smaller brush? This is just going to kind of deepen it up a little bit at a time. Kind of keep it from getting really, really patchy. He breaks my heart when you're crying like that. Tangela, where have you been all my life? Do I need to call you and catch up with you? I won't do a FaceTime call. It might freak you out. <laughs> I got another one of those interesting group chats. <laughs> I know you work hard for the money or insurance. Which one should I say? We know it's not for the mental stability. <laughs> All right. What color am I going into now? Choices, choices. All right. Use a little bit of this orange just to kind of go back in with this brown. Kind of soften her up a little. I mean, if we're going to blow out an eyeshadow look, this is the one to do it. It takes up the whole face. Oh, it's okay. I know she, I know you can't. It's not, it's not your fault. I just find it hilarious. But I can't, I don't get her 
for messages either. I just get responses from other people like, why is she sending me a message? What do you want? And I'm like, I don't see her message anymore because I blocked her. So I don't know like what it is. I'm just seeing like their reactions. You know what I mean? <laughs> Which has not been as bad. Okay. Woo! Doggies. Hold on, I keep pushing a button and getting off of this this color. Hey, 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 hey. Let's not do that. We're not going to throw a fit. We can have bad days, but we don't need to throw a fit about it and be ugly to people. <laughs> All right. I think I'm about ready to clean up right here and start showing you how this is supposed to look cute at some point in time. I haven't decided how yet, but yeah. All right, let's do an even darker brown first before I go further with that. I'm gonna do this color called Marvelous. Yeah, that's the darkest one. And all we do is we just keep going back in with our fluffy brush after we load it on with the little tight brush and blend it all out. I wonder how long it really took for girls to do this dramatic like Great Gatsby look if they if they really did in fact do this. I don't know if this is more of a dramatized version. But I imagine after like the third color, I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> I don't want to do any more. <laughs> Not if I have to do this as an everyday look. I know, I don't understand. You better be nice. Y'all, I'm, um, I'm not bragging. I'm just excited because I didn't think it was going to get to this. I got voted in for the um, unique contest. I'm like one of the semifinalists. I'm so excited. We'll find out tomorrow night. I think the voting stops tomorrow night. I think we'll find out like after that who the winner is. So either way, it was fun. There's a lot of good, talented girls in this contest, so I'm, like, really excited that I'm in one, I'm one, of, one of them. I don't know how you say that. Okay. A little bit more yellow just to blend her out. If we go any further, it's going to go slap into our head. Okay. How about orange? Okay. Now I'm going to carve out a space for this gold that's going to be coming on here. Hey, Ellen. And it's going to have that glimmery gold that, like, a 1920s flapper, I guess, would typically have. I don't really know typically. We're just going by this inspiration picture. Again, it looks disturbing at first. And I'll darken it up a little bit with some black once we kind of get into the carving of this. Okay. So, I don't feel too bad about this going onto the nose bridge because I, I'm looking at it and that's kind of where hers is anyway. So we're kind of still in the same range that we need to be. This part, I am going to clean up just a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit more foundation because it really doesn't need to go beyond about right here. Okay. So that part I do need to kind of rein in a little bit. Just kind of like 
looking, stopping, and kind of making an assessment after we start doing this. Okay. All right, so what we want to do, and it seems like it's redundant kind of, but it just helps to like carve out a space. That's the best way I can say that. I'm going to take some concealer. I'm not going to use the back of my hand today. We're going to be classy, I guess. Um, and we're going to use some of this concealer just to create that carved space with our synthetic brush. It's like the best way to do this. So I'm just going to take a little bit. And her starts sort of almost like right where the corner of her eye is. Oh, we're going to have to get up close and personal now. Start sort of right here at the corner of the eye. And then she starts clearing out a path all the way up to about... Oh, it actually goes over her eyebrows. So about right here, all the way to about right here. All right. And I'm gonna kind of smudge over that space right there because that was a little too far. All right, so Concealer to clean this area up so that it will hold a very nice shimmer shadow right over the top. It's not going to crease too bad because we already have powder over the eye. So that's one thing to take into consideration that it's not going to be that bad. And it's going to go all the way, it's going to kind of fade into this area. She kind of like blends it out. So we're just going to let it kind of taper off as it gets towards the end of the eyelid. And you can layer it a little bit more in the place that you carved out, straightening up any lines that you need with the end of that curved brush. Let's do the other side. That wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be. And we're going to add a little bit of some, um, some glitter, 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 glitter with it. All right. If I only look at the camera, I have no idea what I'm doing. So I do have to kind of pull up a mirror a little bit closer to kind of see where I'm at here. All right, so we got to kind of go above the, the natural eyebrow. And start arching over. use small strokes make sure you layer a little at a time just to kind of get a smooth application I think I'm so used to putting this concealer on the back of my hand when I apply this that it just feels weird like I'm wasting it when I put it on this little palette And since we glued down those brows, it's not giving me too many problems. So you're going to see a little bit of the texture come through, but it's not that bad. And again, just kind of letting it fade out where we are going to apply a little bit more shadow to kind of clean that up a little bit in just a minute. this is your first time to say new kid I'll send you the details on how to get in on my giveaway where I say thank you for stopping by okay whoo that's pretty strong okay here's the color we're gonna start off with and then I'm thinking anyway it may end up being this one I'm not a hundred percent 
let me grab my other one just to see what else we got. May possibly use some of these bright ones. I'm liking. Let me look real quick. And clean this off. I'm liking the like champagne gold kind of look. I think that's where we're what we're kind of heading for. Spraying it down so it can smoothly go over this little area that we carved away. Using the same brush, I just cleaned it off a little bit. And now it is time to start packing on that gold. Oh, that's pretty. I like that gold. It doesn't really look as much glittery as it just does molten, so I may have to add a little bit of some glitter to it just to kind of make it a little extra bling instead of it looking like it may be blending into like what concealer color would be. So that's another consideration that I may want to make. One of the things I learned is when you start doing this, you never are going to get the whole process perfect. It's like just kind of figuring out and growing with it and doing your own interpretation of what like looks or feels best. So if something doesn't work for you, because obviously we sometimes don't always have the same colors or tools that the people have, then you can try out different things, see what works best. We all have different skin types and textures. So, you know, do what makes you comfortable, readjust if it's not working for you for some reason, and find something that will work better. Okay, first gold activated, right? Let's go to the next eye. Start getting it on here. I'm having fun with this one. This one's a little bit more, I feel like, therapeutic. Don't ask me why. I feel like each look has its own mood. Kind of like what I was talking about when I do um, pictures. I feel like filters and like colors, they create their own mood too with like photos. So I'm just kind of tapping that in, wetting the brush a little at a time. I don't have a lot of this gold left. For those who want to know what gold I'm using, um, it's called Considerate in the Beloved Palette Volume 3. I have well used this palette. I've only had it for about a little over a year, and I have well used this, and I enjoy it every time I use it. Yes, they are stronger colors than you would typically think to use, but they work beautifully with all sorts of different shades. Okay. So we got that gold on, right? And I'm gonna add a little bit of just maybe a smidge of glitter. I haven't decided yet. I don't know. I don't know if I wanna do it. Let's see. Do I like that color? Mm, not really. Let's see what this one is. Nee, no. Should we do glitter or should we keep it like flat like this for the gold part? That's my question of the day. I'll pack a little on here, just a little bit, just to see what it does. Mm, it just adds a little more texture. I mean, that's really what it does. So if you don't like the texture, you can skip the glitter. They have these cool little palettes you can get on Amazon, and this one's called the Aura Life. I've had this now for a little over a year, and it serves its purpose. It's not a hard glitter. It's more of a soft kind of glitter to apply to. I don't like the very flaky, clunky 
shedding type glitters. This one will do it if you put too much on at one time, but it's not very harsh on your eye, so that's a good thing. Okay, that's not that bad. It just kind of added an extra layer, really. Let's do the, this one since we already did the other side. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of stick to this gold, this very light gold. I don't think I want to deepen it on the middle part. I think I'm okay with the way that it is there. Okay. Now, the way that this girl has this look, okay, it, um, how do I say this? It is. It blends a little bit more right here so you can go back in and kind of make that look a little better I'm gonna open up one of her photos that's kind of half closed so I can see how her eyes look come to mommy hey computer I need you not to be a little butt right now and I need you to do what I ask you to do okay I don't treat you bad. You don't need to treat me bad. It's a mutual agreement, okay? I guess we're going back to Pinterest because you want to be ugly. <laughs> Why do me and my computer fight like this? I don't even know. Open up and be a good girl. How is the Wi-Fi and how is my sound coming through? I need a little bit of some feedback from somebody while I am trying to navigate this computer who has had enough of me. Okay, right here. This right here is where we're gonna try to blend back in a little bit. So, here's what we're gonna do, just to get you mentally prepared for this, and I can be mentally prepared for this. We're going to get a small little crease brush, or you can get the one called the um, liner shader brush. I really like this one because it has two edges. We're going to tap in, start to use the Marvelous and the Legendary together. That's just the darker colors. Hold up. Let me get to it. We have to rearrange things. Okay, there we go. All right, so we're going to mix these two colors together and start blending in just at an angle right here. Okay. Her. So brown, marvelous, legendary, and I'm just kind of doing at an angle right here. Oh, book! I feel like sometimes I just need to go back and talk in a Winifred Sanderson voice, you know? I feel like she just, you know, she was the queen bee of that. She just made it happen. All right, I'm going to dust a little bit of that brown. A little brown and a little black, black right here. I'll tell you what I feel like. I feel like we're about to go on a show and transform. <laughs> but I don't have the skills like some of them drag queens do. But it looks like they could teach you some things for real. Okay. <laughs> this is pretty dang, you know, we're just going to trust the process until we feel like it's getting closer to this look. All right, so for those who come in on this and stumble on this and like, what's happening? You're working on, okay? It is the Flapper Doll 1920s look, okay? So, just, just to uh, get rid of any miscommunications on that. All right, taking the blush the little bit blending brush and just kind of rolling this to kind of soften up this edge a little bit. And just kind of rolling that up under too to keep that dark. Do the same thing over here. Just kind of blend it, get that soft base, and then we can go back in and pack it in just a little bit more. I am going to go in with what's left over and just kind of 
make sure we still have some color over the top of this part right here. I'll go back in with some orange and add it to it later, but make sure we still have some color above there. Okay. I want to clean up this little area before I start um, packing everything in. So I'm bringing this in just a little bit. I want it to kind of stop about right here. Okay, that's where I want it to stop. We went a little too far on the bottom. So just going to use that stick foundation to kind of soften that area up. If you ever get too far gone on your eyelid and think that it's just like you have to start all over, I promise you, just get your kabuki out, kabuki brush out, take a deep breath, and say, look, we can just minimize it for right now and build on it and fix it, okay? It's not a big deal. It's not going to all work together right away. It has to be through a set of steps, okay? So... Don't let that frustrate you if you're not as far as you thought you'd like to be or whatever. You just got to keep going with the flow, okay? Build on until you're happy with it. Using a little bit of this light brown and this dark brown, it's called introverted and affable. And just kind of softly bringing that in here so I have a little bit of warmness to the end of this black as it's transitioning into that gold. So that affable warm brown is just gonna help to kind of soften that up a little bit. That kind of helps like not let there be a harsh edge right there. Okay. I see some spots that I want to just go in with my fluffy brush and add a little bit of warmthness there. Warmthness, is that a word? Somebody tell me. My grammar Nazis out there, I'm pretty sure it's not a word. Warmthness? No. Warmth? That's the word. Warmth. It takes me a minute, okay? Some of us, you know, we just go at a little slower speed. <laughs> Right, yellow and you know what before I, before I go on the fluffy brush let's do the blending brush I don't want to go too harsh on that one we're just gonna go yellow right here on the edges really soft not bringing in a lot of harshness there Mixing that yellow with that orange kind of gets you that nice deepened color that we like. Okay. <clears throat> A little bit of some brown, shall we? Just slightly around that gold for anybody that's ever wondered like why I kind of go back on colors and add more it's like the whole I don't know if you've ever seen this but where people will map their face with like um, eyeliners and lip liners it gives you like an area to kind of start working on and then building on so like you know, if you got to a certain point and you want to go back and darken an area or expand on it, like you kind of already laid most of it out, but now you're just going back in and like maybe deepening or brightening or whatever the case is. Okay. A little bit of black and a little bit of brown mixes together for that really deep brown that we're looking for right against that gold. And kind of peeking into that orangish yellow color. I 
have you ever seen like in the 1920s like they'll have like ads for uh beautician like beauty products and it, it'll be like the worst products in them i'm like lord help me if i put arsenic or something on my face okay now that we kind of have that what we're next going to do is draw our brows build up the color under our eyes put the lashes on and do the dark the dark lips okay I want to do the brows first. I just feel like that would be fun. So let's get out. It's called Our Mood Struck Precision Dip and Draw Liner by Unique. Okay, and we're going to do like what we call the sad eyebrows. So let's start off about right here. We're going to kind of have like this little dip. I need my mirror again. My itchy. Do that little dip because it's a very expressive eyebrow. And then kind of arc way over. And I just do small strokes and try to like line them up next to each other to kind of create the thickness that I want to with the pattern of the brow. Didn't they have some serious brows? Like I feel like I need to even like maybe deepen up that eyeshadow even more around this brow. <laughs> I'm going to add like my hair a certain way with a little, um, what's it called, band around it, a little flapper band, but let me get this straight first. It feels so weird to have my brows way up here. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, okay, sorry, I'm tripping out. To me though, like I said, I feel like I always go for these very expressive brow creative looks and I'm like, it must be something that intrigues me about it. And if you mess up, we're going to use a little bit of makeup remover to clean it up in just a second. But I'm just trying to get like the swoop that I want first. And you can wet a black shadow if you don't have enough liner. I just like to use liner a lot because I feel like it's a more truer black. It doesn't have as much pigment in it that creates like a weird like reflection that I feel like shadows do. So I don't know. Okay. Mm, I don't think I need to clean up the brows too much. They just look crazy. I mean, that's just really what they look like. All right, we're gonna do a beauty mark right here. Never would have had one of those either. I do not like the way those look. I just think they're ugly. I mean, if they're not natural, you know, that's what I mean. <coughs> All right. Let me go ahead and build up a little bit more of this, um, this yellow up under my eyes. Gonna kind of Just lighten up that area just a little bit. Okay. Alright, so she's got this very like orangey, yellowy kind of tint as well. Let me see if I can find the one where she has her open eyes. Because I really just want to see, like, how that looks. Come here. 
clothes. I think one of my programs is open and it's like slowing my computer down. Clothes. All right, let's see what this one looks like. Open, sesame. There we go, I see you, girl. All right, I see you. So she's gonna kind of be like this, all right. So, yellow and orange. Starting off with orange, that revived color that's in palette eight. Do a little bit over here. Now, another thing is you could use this blush color called Supple if you don't want to grab a palette for this. And it's got a nice peachy color as well that you could kind of incorporate into this look. But I'm like, most of the colors that we're using is in here, so you might as well. All right. Yellow. We don't want to go much further down than that. I don't want it going all the way down my cheeks. So we need to kind of stop about right here. Bring a little bit of that orange back in the middle. Just to kind of bring that middle color right there. I feel like I look like Ursula right now. You know what I mean? Bring in a little bit of that maroon color. And now we're gonna tap in brown and black to kind of give it like a soft look. So let's see what we can do with this. Okay, brown and black. And we're just gonna kind of start really trying to smoke it out up under the eye. Now this girl uses a little bit of a filter, so it's not gonna be quite as true black as what her photo is. And I have to keep that in mind. So tap in some right here up under the waterline. I'm going to use a liner as well to join in where that naked waterline is. Oh, that headache's trying to come back. Don't do it. Don't do it. We've been doing this for I'm counting when I started probably a little over an hour now. So I feel good about where we're at because that means that we should probably stop right at around an hour, 30 or 40 minutes. So that's good. All right. Let's do a smaller brush. I'm gonna do one that's kind of pointy. And I'm just gonna kind of tap a little bit there up under that eye where I typically would have a crease. Oh, don't get it in your eyeball, Daphne. Okay. 
Okay. We're going to use Perfect Liner. It's in, is this a pencil liner? And just kind of get that all one color. I'm going to tap in a little bit of some black right with this pointed small brush just kind of around that gold to kind of make it stand out the line a little bit more. in a little bit of some of that orange red right on the edge of that brownish black Do the same kind of right here. Okay. Where's my flat brush? I feel like I need to clean up this gold just a little bit. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If I can find it. Come here, fly brush. All right. There we go. I felt like that was darkening up a little bit, and I was like, I need to fix that. Okay. All right, I'm looking. Just reassessing, figuring out where I need to go with this. No, I don't want that brown in there. That's a negative. That's a negative. Let me use a little bit of this brow palette to soften you up. All right, lips. We're gonna start off with just a lighter color, you know, cause I don't have quite the dark berry color. There used to be this color called Screeching or something like that, I cannot remember. I don't have it anymore because it's a retired color, but I'm gonna build it up with some eyeshadow color so we don't have to freak out too much about it. Let's do, mm, what color do I wanna use? Don't do it to me, computer. Look, I know I have some makeup on here, but I need you to be on the, on the one I was talking about. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Okay. And don't say there's nothing to show here. Do you ever feel like you get an attitude from Siri sometimes and she'll just be like the worst sometimes? I'm just like, Siri, no, ma'am. Okay. Let's see. This one is Dirty Chai. I'm going to go back in with Purple Bang. That's the darkest one I... No, I, no it's not. Let's go in with mischievous. It's a brown, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little bit of purple in with it, okay? Just trust the process. So they have a very heart-shaped lip. I feel like I need a liner with this because the way how heart-shaped her lips are. So we're gonna use a flat brush. I'm gonna take some of this brown. Stay with me. And I'm going to go pretty high up on the Cupid's bow. Okay. 
I'm going to do the same. I always was kind of jealous of this lip shape because I feel like it's just a cute little pouty lip. And we want to kind of keep it inside because they don't really go outside the natural lip that much. It's mostly inside. And they have like a rounded bottom. So we're going to make an, a rounded shape on this. going to curve it just where it has a little flick on the end I used to see a little trend like this, but it was like called Joker lips. Okay. So see how it kind of curves up a little bit. I feel like that really helps. All right, so that's mischievous, which is like a dark brown. And I just want to add a little bit of some purple to it. So, first of all, let me see if this liner is going to work. This is called Passionate. Nope, not the purple that I want. Nope, 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 nope. Let's try. Oh, goodness. What color do we want to try today? I'm going to go back in with what I used yesterday for the purples, Credulous. Oh yeah, that's going to do it. That's going to do it. It's got a little shimmer. And it's going to add that purple, what I wanted. Maybe I'm going to add a slight amount of black too, I don't know yet. I honestly hate putting powder over my lips, but it's a cool little short shortcut if you don't have the lip color that you want. You can always add a clear lip gloss to the top if you don't like like that to be your final finish. Because it looks like wrinkly on our lips. So, we're going to use a little bit of this. No, that's too bright of a purple. I'm just going to go ahead and use a clear gloss called Glassy Loyal. No, Loyal. Add a little bit of this black to it.
I made a mess at the bottom of my bed. One of them is not like the other. Alright, hold on. I'm going to clean it out with a little bit of concealer. There you go. Okay, so fake lashes and then we can see where we need to go from there, right? I have some blue eyelashes. I don't know if that would be a good one to choose. And the black ones that I'm looking for, I don't know if I still have some of those. Let's see. <coughs> Let's see what we got, ladies and gentlemen. I have some um, lashes that I stuck down into the side pocket of my purse when I took them off, meaning to put them up. And apparently I stuck my phone down there at the same time. And I'm laughing because my son went to grab my phone and there was some of the lashes on the back of the phone. <laughs> and he's like, ah! <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to leave those there. Y'all like these like fancy looking things I've never used. I was like, these are perfect for this look. All right, let's see if I can find some lashes now. <sighs> It's hard finding the lashes that you dream of. Let's see if I could find some. These have some lashes. Oh, there's the other set of earrings I was looking for. Which ones, guys? I need help picking. Should we do this one or this one? I feel like the gold kind of looks really good for that. I don't know. see. I don't think these are yet. Ugh. I don't feel like you're going to even be able to see those. I need the ones I wore yesterday. What are these? No, those are my spider woman glass. Uh, well, we can't have those. We can't do that. Where are lashes when you need them in your life? Here's your sign. Take your collagen. If something's reminding you, it's time to take it. Let's pull out everything and see what in the world I do with my lashes. 
that means it's time to go by the store and get some more. That's not it. Oh, I found a sucker. This is the thing to find in a mom's purse while you're looking for lashes. I think we may just have to go with these blue lashes if I can't find the one I was looking for. Hey! Alright. That's one. I don't know, y'all. I may not have the other one. I'm like, what happened to it? Let's see what this is. This might be it. Okay. Nope. Alright. Y'all help a sister out. Help me find my dang lashes. I used to have like so many last year that I wouldn't even know what to do with them. And we wouldn't use any like on a look. Now I just feel like can't find the right kind. Let's see. We've got plenty of contacts, but we haven't used them. Alright, I guess we're just about to go with these blue ones. That's what it's looking like. Guys, okay. I think mean, that's what we're going to have to do. Oh well. That's okay. Let's just go with the blue ones. Because I don't know what I did with the other one. Okay. It's not going to 100% match, but you know, we're just going to do what we can. Alright. Let's pull these off. Let's use a little lash glue. Stick on these suckers. Give me a recommendation of what your favorite when it comes to gluing lashes. Like, what are your favorites that you like to use? I like Kiss. I like Ardell. There's some called Perfect that I like, but I don't always find, like, that kind in, like, just, you know, the run-of-the-mill regular stores that are local. I have to order those online, usually. Hey, Sheila. Alright, so yeah, we're going to have blue ones, but it'll just have to work for right now until I restock up tomorrow. And then hopefully tomorrow I should be getting my wig in for my Cleopatra look. And I have to do my pixie look too. So, yeah, Cleopatra's tomorrow, Pixie looks on Saturday. All right, let's go ahead and let those just sit for a second while we're letting those dry. I am just going to thicken up these eyebrows a little bit. Yeah. And I'm just going to use... Oh, I need to put my headband on, too. All right. I'm going to take the hair. Because mine's kind of curly, you know what I'm saying? And we're just going to kind of balloon it out. Like this. Put our little how do you guys like this headband isn't it cute all right i'm gonna tuck this in because you know it like balloons out it makes it look like you have like a little short hairstyle and you know mine's really long so i have to kind of adjust it um let's put on some blush and just like slight amount because she'll do like usually some rosy rouge or something while we're waiting on these uh, lashes to dry. 
let's do sweet that's like a nice really light colored one I'm going to lighten it up in just a second. All right, when you are dealing with blush and you don't maybe have the right shade or you need to lighten it up, using your Kabuki brush or what you had your, um, your foundation on, like your beauty bud, will be perfect for it, okay? So... Just go back in, lightly go over it. Okay, we're gonna thicken up these brows in just a second. I think I'm ready for my lashes. Let's try them on and see where we need to go from there and make adjustments. Oh, these are really long. I should have cut these suckers. Like, holy crap. I don't even know if these are going to sit right. Hold on. Concentrating big time on these. I feel like the more that they arch or the more that they're, you know, laying flat on top, they won't stay here true. Lash bed. So I'm trying to get the hang of that. Y'all just pray for me when it comes to that. I can do other people's lashes better than I can do my own when it comes to gluing. If it comes to magnetic oh my gosh I can do that like a dream no that one needs to have more glue <laughs> that is not gonna work no ma'am no sir it's that glitter that's on top it's like not wanting to hold on so I have got to put more glue on here okay with that in mind, let's see if this other one's going to work. This one's almost all the way dry. We're going to see if that one will stick to my glitter. It's like I know it. Oh my God. I can tell these are cheap. I did get these lashes from uh, Spirit Halloween. I have never tried lashes from there, so learning experience for sure. I know when you do magnetic lashes, you do for sure need to do two layers, just in my honest opinion. With the lashes, I have usually been able to do one, but in this case, not necessarily. Okay. Let it dry again. Let's, in the meantime, thicken up these eyebrows. I'm probably saying lashes instead of brows and brows instead of lashes. Y'all just have to remember I, I'm a tired mom. And that sometimes happens, even to the best of us. Alright, so I want to do a little bit of a thicker brow. I see hers are like super thick, so for some thin brows, so I'm going to do a little bit more here. And just fill this in just a little bit. A little bit thicker on this side. Of 
close off this arch just a little bit. darling. Do you see that just throw itself at me? I feel attacked. Alright, let's get this on. Hopefully two times a charm instead of three. Pinch these together and pray for the lashes to have a happy bonding experience. That there's some chemistry in between them. And God bless the broken road that led them straight to each other. You better get on there and I am not even playing with you. Yeah. I do not like these lashes at all. Don't get the purple ones. I mean the blue ones from Spirit Halloween. I love everything from Spirit Halloween except for these dang lashes. It's like they just don't want to go on. Dad, gum. I never had such a hard time in my life with these suckers. I feel like I'll probably just do better if I pinch them myself instead of trying to use this thing. Tweezers. Oh my god, do you see that? The devil's lashes. <laughs> I cannot. S oh, it's gonna make me so mad. I ain't never fought so hard some lashes in my life. Remind me to never put on some dang glitter near so close to my eyeball. Because the lashes don't like it. Apparently my eyeball's not going to like it in a minute. You better stay on there. And pray that y'all learn to get along. Just like I tell my kids to in the back seat. I ain't even playing with you. You better go on there and be nice. You got to talk mean to your lashes sometimes. Or they ain't going to listen to you. And then they still ain't going to listen to you when you tell them what to do. You see these? I'm like done with this one. Got a cut over a dang brow and a lash. Mm-mm. No, sir. We ain't doing that one. Mm-mm. Okay. <laughs> We're just going to have to be mad at these ones because they do not want to stick. And I do not have any other ones. It's like the almost third time I've stuck this back on. And this one just don't want to stay. Alright. I know they're wonky. Just be patient with me. do this before I start throwing this across the room because I will all right I'm gonna use a little black just to darken up right here right up under the eye oh my god 
I do not like these dang lashes. Okay, so I'm just, I thought this was a good decision. I am popping in a little bit of liner and kind of smudging it underneath. And that must have been what they did back in the day. Because it looks more accurate than trying to put this dang shadow up under here. They must have smudged it. That's what they did. They smudged it. I made an executive decision when it came to that. And then sometimes they be having like a little bit of like a kind of like stroke right there. And a stroke like that, like like it's like they're trying to make it like lashes, I guess. You could take some lashes and glue them up underneath, but I do not want to mess with lashes anymore after this experience. I mean, when I get my other ones, I will deal with them, but this one, no ma'am. It's the most horrible blue ones I've ever experienced in my life. What do you think? Does it work? Need my little cigarette thing. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I'm going to do some black liner. You know how you just pick at stuff and you can't leave it alone? Well, these lashes are a sore disappointment. I guess I got stuck up when it came to unique because when I get stuff I don't like, I'm like, oh, this is horrible. Because I'm so used to having good stuff. See where it's like trying to disown me? I'm going to disown it. Thank you, darling. I'm done with these lashes. I hate them. They knew that they weren't wanted, that they were picked last in this look because I don't have anything else. And now they're just trying to show out and be like, oh, that's what you get for, for picking me last instead of using me for your 80s look like you said you were going to use it for. Well, I'm sorry, honey. Plans change and you need to go with the program. There we go. That's the final look. Darling. That is it. I will take a picture and I will do a TikTok. And then I will say peace. Have an amazing day. And go scare my husband. Have a great day.